Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This message and reading here is for my Pisces zodiac sign love and relationships for September. Now, this is a general reading, so this may not resonate with you. If it does, everything may not be for you in this reading. Could be messages for someone else. So take what does and leave the rest. Also, energies are fluid and interchangeable, so energies can cross. And if you need to, please flip the energies that best resonate with you. Let's go ahead and pull the overall energy with the romance deck. Healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. <clears throat> Past life relationship, you have known each other before. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Okay. And just in case, guys, if you pick up on some noise in the background, for one, my kids are in the living room. Um, they are home. And there is someone mowing the yard next to my house. So you may pick up on a weed eater or two. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and clarify healing family issues for Pisces and see what we have. Queen of Pentacles. The Tower. Four of Swords. And Ten of Wands. All right. So what I'm seeing is that with the Queen of Pentacles and the Tower here, you at one point in your childhood or whenever it was uh, with your parents had a lot of stability in your life with the Queen of Pentacles. You had the wealth or like, um, and I'm not saying wealth is in money. It could have been, but I'm saying like wealth is in love from two parents or wealth is in a very happy, stable home environment, right? Something happened where the tower moment hit. It could have been financial. It could have been um, a separation from the other parent or something like that. Um, but something caused this stability to come crashing down. And what I'm seeing is when it happened, it happened because someone needed a break. Four of Swords here. Someone needed a break from the relationship or someone needed a break from the commitment that was going on at the time. And it became overwhelming at that point, okay? Whoever, these, the parents that you had, it became very overwhelming for them. And I don't feel like this was because of you at all. It, was, it had nothing to do with you. It was their relationship. And, you know, and unfortunately, you were their child at the time. So it did cause um, maybe some, some, some deep down emotional trauma or some deep emotional issues with your with your your life kind of just falling apart there um, again it had nothing to do with you you can tell it was like something something between the parents okay because when you see in this card here you see the family the mom and the dad here like trying to explain to the child you know hey you know mommy and daddy you know yada 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 and the child isn't able to understand that so I feel like that's what happened um, in your childhood unfortunately let's see let me see what the result was of this to see if it'll tell me why is the why is Pisces needing to heal what happened what happened clarify please what happened why is Pisces needing to heal let's see that's cool yeah there we go there we go okay so yeah emotional ace of cups it was an emotional ordeal for you. It was like a new beginning emotionally. And uh, it, you could have went into like a single family home. It could have been you had mom and dad or mom and mom or dad and dad at one point. And whatever happened, it crashed. It, it, it ended, okay? Um, it became overwhelming to them. Whatever it was, it could have been uh, the lifestyle that you were living and it, it crashed down and then they needed to take a break from it or it ended and uh, I don't know it could have been like a job that they had and it became stressful to them and they had to end that and, and live a simpler lifestyle but whatever it was it really affected your um, emotions here with the ace of cups the new beginning you weren't able to um, comprehend the new beginning here you weren't able to understand it at that time okay and so because of that it caused some uh, family issues for you all right so let's um clarify past life relationship let's clarify past life relationship for pisces september 2020 let's do one last shuffle 
Yeah, here we go. We have the chariot. All right. Queen of Cups. Eight of Swords. Page of Wands. Okay. And on the bottom, I'm seeing Seven of Pentacles. So what this is telling me is that in your past life, you could have been a very powerful uh, person, okay, with the chariot here. You could have been someone very, very powerful, and um, it's like you wanted love, right? You wanted to offer your love to someone here with the Queen of Cups. When I'm seeing the chariot, you had overcame a lot. You could have been like a, I'm, I'm going to say king or queen, because again, this is like a, a past life relationship. So you could have been someone that was very powerful, king, queen, or, um, you know, whatever they did back in the day, like, what whatever you believe in you know what i'm saying whatever they did back in the day you are a very powerful person you were someone who had financial wealth someone who had overcame a lot built something for themselves from the ground up okay and it's like you wanted to offer your love here with the queen of cups to someone you really did but you were so in your head about it here with the eight of swords and I think it had to do with you were waiting on this person to come to you. Maybe, you know, like back then, you weren't supposed to come to them. They were supposed to come to you. And it could have had to do with the uh, status of your financial situation. Like maybe you were a very powerful person, you know, and you weren't able to go out and search for, or you weren't able to go out and, and, and offer your love to just anybody. Like they were supposed to approach you. But this person, whoever it was, is very shy, okay, very shy. Now, it could have been very, um, very young, maybe with the Page of Wands, because this could be like a younger person or young-minded, okay? And so, you were very in your head about if you were going to offer that um, love offering to them because you were like, eh, you know, whatever, whatever. But um, it's like you were waiting on them. So, I feel like... It, Again, past life relationship, you have known each other before. So maybe it wasn't the right timing for you guys. Maybe you guys were in um, different age ages at the time. And so you, you couldn't offer it to this person because they were too young for you at the time. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's clarify. Let your friends help you. Let's clarify. Let your friends help you. Let's clarify. Let your friends help you. If I let your friends help you. All right, let's pull and see what we have. Okay, so we have ooh, the magician. I love when I get this card. Six of swords, yeah. I love when I get this. Let your friends help you. Four of wands, because most of the times, the star, the the friends always want to come in and help you find love. Okay, yeah. See, eight of pentacles. They want to work with you. They want to help help you out. So the magician and the six of swords is telling me that they want to help you move forward. They want to help you um, find someone because there's movement here, and this is the magician. It's like they're they're playing, um, they're they're doing their work right on behind you, and it's like they don't want to tell you. Again, guys, if you hear that noise in the background, it is a lawnmower, so I do apologize. But it's like they want to help you move forward here, okay? And they want to help you move forward towards a commitment, towards love, towards happiness, towards a happy relationship. And they're, they're, they're wanting you the best in your life, okay, with the star card. They're hoping for the better for you. They want, they're wishing you the best, you know. They want you to have this because they know this is what you want, you know. You want to be happy. And they're there, and it's like maybe you're telling your friends, like, no, 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 I'm not ready right now. Or no, 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 I'm not ready to date right now, yada, yada, yada. But your friends are really wanting to help you. And this could be that extra push that you need. Okay? Maybe they're telling you like, hey, let's go um, let's go on vacation somewhere. Maybe you'll find your lover. Blah, 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 blah. You know, you never know. But um, your friends are definitely there to help you out. And they're wanting to see you happy. Okay? Let's uh, get some advice here from the second carol from the heart. Let's see what we have. Alright, let's see. First, oh yeah, trust. Okay, see, the healing family issues has a lot to do with the way that you trust people. This may be why you're not allowing your friends to help you as well. Um, you have to heal this so that you can start to trust people, so that you can move forward here, okay? This is some healing that you really need and you deserve, all right? 
So definitely whatever this is with your, your parents or your childhood, whatever happened, just kind of sit down, talk to them, hash that out so that you can heal from it. If it's something you feel you can't talk about it, maybe you need to meditate on it. Write down what hurts you. Write down everything that hurts you. And then sit on it, meditate about it, pray about it, whatever you, you know, whatever your belief is, um, so that you can start to heal from that. Um, the second card we have is move, okay? You did not make a move because you were hesitant. You were in your head about it. You didn't know how to. Um, but this is telling me this person that you're going to run into, Page of Wands energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? It's time for you to make a move. This is your time, okay? You've known each other before in the past. So when you run into this person, it's time for you to make your move. Don't be afraid. Don't feel like you can't because you're on a, a higher standard than what they are or you're on a higher level than they are. It's time for you to make that move. Don't be afraid of it. This is your lover. This is who has your heart. They had your heart in past life and they're going to have your heart now. Joy and stability. This is what your friends want. They want to see you happy. They want to see you in a happy relationship. They want to see you happy and joyful and just in a stable relationship that you deserve. So don't be afraid to let your friends help you out. This could be them sending you on a date with some of their friends or this could be them um, just, I don't know, maybe introducing you to somebody. You know, don't be afraid to let your friends help you. All right, let's get a couple cards from the Manifest Soulmate deck here. Let's see what we have. Peace comes from within. Do not seek it without, okay? In the end, you tried and you cared, and sometimes that is enough. And all you need is to believe in yourself, okay? All right, so that is what I have for you today, Pisces. I hope that this helps, gives you some clarity. And um, if you are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you. I thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for showing the love. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.